shout out to Comedy Hype, first and foremost. You know, everybody out there that didn't get a chance to check out my interview on Comedy Hype. Let me see something. So, so this uh, interview I did right here with Comedy Hype. Subscribe to their channel if you have it, right? Subscribe to my channel if you have it, right? It's clearly viral, as y'all can see, with 340,000 views in less than a week, all right? You know, and uh, as well as, you know, these ones as well, uh, the Rockefeller ones, this was just how it came out yesterday, and it's already at 100,000. And uh, this one here, just came out two days, so they doing like a hundred thousand a day, right? But um, this one here has went viral. I would say, uh, and thank all y'all that reposted it, shared it, um, watched it, liked it, commented positive or negative it don't matter um but i appreciate the support and i i want y'all to um understand that <clears throat> uh y'all know that watch me on the regular that it's rare that i go on these platforms and do interviews like like bi i will go to big boy uh You know, big, you know, <clears throat> after the Breakfast Club, you know, and they edited my stuff, I've been very skeptical about doing interviews. You know what I'm saying? There's a interview that I did more recently that y'all been begging and waiting for. <laughs> so I appreciate comedy hype. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I'm not going to get into no politics of anything, but uh, I think I'm going to have a clause for people that want to do interviews with me. If you don't drop the interview an X amount of time, or you don't drop the interview because of gatekeepers, that um, by X amount of date, you're going to have to delete my interview. That's going to be my new shit. Delete it. Delete it. If you're scared of these niggas, delete it. You don't need it, right? And I'm damn sure I ain't going to be doing no interviews for free. Wasting my time, gas, money, and, and, and my just my time for motherfuckers to be sitting there uh, uh, being scared of people and politics. Right, so I, I salute Comedy Height um, so much. I salute them so much, you know, for um, being a, a unbiased platform and uh, not worried about these sucker ass suckers. Right, but moving on. Right, so. It's so many goofies out here, right? Now, we all know, for first and foremost, the transgender in the bigger Big Papa video. If there's any man out there that's trying to convince you that that is a woman, 
right? <laughs> Watch that dude, right? Or female. Because do not let nobody trick your goddamn common sense, right? Now, there's a bunch of people out here. Too. Oh, no, that's not no transgender. She been came out and said it. Where? Who is she? What is her name? Where she's from? Show us her baby pictures and show us her pictures on the set or a picture with her and Biggie on the set of the video. This one nigga told me, nah, she was on High 97 back in the days. Like, if y'all niggas don't get out of here, like, man, we'll be waiting for, for soon as somebody tell you, oh, that's not true, that she came out, tell the mother, let me calm down. Tell them, tell them, produce it. Produce your receipts, right? Produce it. These things are, oh, yeah, she's still alive and she get ready to do an interview. And these niggas ain't even 25 years old. It was not around, was not in the industry. Do not notice this, this chick, whoever they talking about from nowhere. And then they, every time you say, I will prove it. Pull it up on the internet. Where where she do this interview at High 97? Where, where she came out and talked that about it at? What interview with Mac? Pull it up. Just pull it up. The niggas got 101 excuses because they don't want to believe that that shit is real. And if let's let's just say, let's just say that's not a transgender at the bar with Biggie and Buster. Explain the transgender in the bathroom. That's not a transgender in the bathroom, neither. So a chick is holding her clit to pee, right? Standing at the urinal, there's a, a chick over there holding her, her clit, peeing, right? Like, uh, yeah, okay. Y'all niggas is stupid. Never seen so much idiotic uh, fanboy nonsense in my life. He's like, it's like, like you, the nigga is saying they like, it's his sister. Like, yo, nigga, that's my sister. What you mean? She in the trendy name, but that's my sister. We like, nah, man, you play me. That's what she, like they know, know this person, met this person. Like, it, yo, the people in the comments are crazy. I mean, yo, man. Niggas don't want to believe nothing. Now, same thing with the Diddy party, right? Or not party, Steve Rifkin house, right? <coughs> <coughs> right? I need to grab my water, y'all. Where the hell I put it? I thought I, oh, I do have it. One dude, I had to tell him, nigga, you better not have sex with no chick in the dark, nigga, because you can't tell the difference. Me went down to eat some coochie and, and, and wind up being the Snickers. <laughs> These motherfuckers on the internet is crazy, bro. They will try to just, like, they hate the truth, boy. They will just just find, try to find something. This nigga sat there and told me <laughs> she was on High 97. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God, bro. But uh, shout out to myself for the comedy show. I ain't even talk about that. But I hope y'all enjoyed the jokes. Jay-Z, Blue Ivy, Beyonce, they just jokes, god damn it. I, I'm a comedian now, too. They joke. Well, outside of the truth in the jokes, but it's it's comedy. It's comedy. I B. I Blue. It's all love, baby. You can dance. You you did start off rocky, Blue, but you got better towards the end. You got better towards the end. I'll give you your props. All right? 
Um, the Diddy Party, right? So now these is a bunch of people on on the internet uh, with the, just like the the, the uh, uh, Shamika, right? The transgender, like that ain't a new story. That I told that twenty years ago, twenty years ago, twenty years ago, and every goddamn five ten years. This same story goes viral, right? Same thing with the Diddy, uh, with Diddy hitting on me, right? First of all, you got niggas doing, yo, I, I don't believe Diddy hit on Cho. Why would I make that up? 